Hey guys, okay, so um, this has, I've gotten a lot of requests for Miley Cyrus hair. Um, I recently got this request, um, it was her hair in her music video Fly on the Wall, it came out a while back. Um, and she has these loose, um, loose curls. Um, and yeah, no, she's been wearing this hair a lot because I see her in a lot of pictures and she's usually wearing this kind of hair. So, this is how I turned out. I'm wearing my extensions too. I actually really like this hairstyle. You know, I'm just running my hands, so just making it a bit looser to fit my own preference. But I did this all with a, um, the clipless Enzo Milano, it's the pink one, same one as the black one. Uh, you can get it at beautychoice.com. Again, I think I said this later on, but um, if you don't have a clipless one, you can just use a regular one with a clip and just use my same technique. You can actually do it with a flat iron as well. I did it. It didn't turn out the exact same, but you can do it with a flat iron. And if it if people really need to see it with a flat iron, I guess I could do that video. Um, and yeah, I had to put on like my whole smoky eye thing to go with the whole rock star look. So I really hope you guys like this video, and I will try to be putting out more hair tutorials. And all the information should be in the description box. So thanks for watching. Bye! Hey guys, okay, so as you see, I'm already kind of up all in this because I started filming but I really had no memory card so it's like a memory card in but anyway so I have my human hair extensions in because I want to have longer hair to really fit that look that Miley Cyrus has um I prepped it up with so I showered uh, let it air dry put in my extensions then I prepped it up with some chi silk infusion I put this in my hair just kind of smooth it out make it a bit frizzless and it's a bit softer and you can get this at beautychoice.com so I divide my hair, I have that first section out, and I already sprayed it with some heat protecting spray, which is the Chi Iron Guard, um, this is the one I use the most, but you can use any one you want. Again, you can get this at beautychoice.com, and I'll put the link in the description box. And I already heated up my pink clipless Enzo Milano, um, again, you can get this at beautychoice.com. Um, I'll put the, all the links in the description box, and I'm also wearing the gloves that comes with it. This is a protected glove. So. I already divided it down, I'm going to grab a section. Um, I'm not too sure how big it has to be. So one and a half inches about, maybe two inches. And you're going to be putting, so actually you don't really need a clipless curling iron. Uh, I'm using this to really get the look, but you can use whatever curling iron you have. If it's not, if it has a clip on it, just don't use a clip, just wrap it around like I'm doing right now. Sorry, I have to sneeze. It's not coming out. So you're going to face it down. And you're going to be making the curls curl away from your face, so I'm going like that. But also for the first section, I'm only curling the ends. Just like that, so I'm facing it down. Just like that. And you're only going to curl the ends for the entire section. And, hold on a second. Okay, so you're going to keep on doing that. So again, just curling away, um, curling about three inches of the bottom of your hair. Again, if your hair is shorter, curl less than that. Um, curling the bottom, it gives that wavy curl look, but also it keeps the length of your hair. Um, it makes it less, I guess, formal and bouncy and more chilled out and relaxed. And since you only curl the bottom, because if you curl the entire thing, um, it'll look shorter. So if you keep on curling the ends, you'll keep most of your length. And you don't have to hold in for that long. The Enzo Milano, like it, it's really, really hot. So it curls pretty fast. But since my hair's straight, I have to usually have to leave it in a bit longer than other people. Okay, just like that. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna do that to the entire bottom section, and I'll show you what to do for. The other side. Okay, so I finished curling the bottom section, and as you see, I only curled the ends, except for this one, so I don't want to take it too high. What you're going to do now, before you let down the other one, you're going to take it together into like a ponytail. I'm just taking another clip, and I'm just clipping it together loosely so it doesn't get that dent. And this just helps um, you curl it better so you don't get confused, um, and you don't get any of those ugly straight strands left. So I'm just laying down another section. Look at that. And what you're going to do is that you're going to curl it the same way. Oh, sorry. You're going to curl it the same way, same direction, and same sizes. 
But instead uh, of curling only ends, you're going to go maybe an inch more to curl. So instead of just doing the bottom two, three inches, I moved up to maybe four or five. I'm not sure, I'm really bad at estimating measurements. Like that. And you're going to keep on doing it for the rest of your hair. Yeah, I forgot to add this. Um, I just let down, I finished curling the second section, I just let it all down. Um, I made sure all the curls cooled down and I lightly hairsprayed it with some Pantene Pro-V Sheer volume hairspray. Use any hairspray you like as long as, long as it's not uber duper sticky and hard. Like something, try to find something light. Um, I hate it how I like this side better than this side, but bleh, whatever. Um, so just lightly hairspray because if you put too much, it's going to weigh it down and your hair might go. And you're going to curl it the same way, but again, you're going to add like another inch to how much you curl. So last section, you know, I stopped here and you're like, going to go to there and just keep on doing that all the way around. Okay, so I finished the other section, hair sprayed it, tied it back with the rest. Um, my last section, I actually have to divide it into two again because I have like my shortest layers here and I really want to concentrate on it and not just clump it all together. So um, also what I forgot to say is that um, when, you're when you're going higher and higher, say for the last two sections and you start you know, curling higher, leave it in for a bit longer because that will make a bouncier curl and it will just put more volume towards the top of your hair and just kind of thin it out at the bottom, which kind of looks like what she has. So, and again, it's really important to make sure you curl away from your face to get the look that she has. So when you're pulling that straight, and you're going very close to the roots, like two, three inches up, just like that, and it gets a nice tighter curl. And you're going to do that for the rest. And then I'll show you how to do the bottom part and your bangs. Okay, so this is what the bottom of your head should generally look like. And I just let down the top section. What you're going to do is fix your parting right there to make sure it, max, it matches if you have bangs or whatnot. Or, you know, make it how you like. So pretty much the closest it was to the root was like, you know, like two inches off. Is that cool? And then start on the next side. Yeah, for the top one, don't do thin ones. Do like a nice thick section. Um, that's probably what I should have done throughout my entire head. Take thicker section. Okay. So this is a nice thick sec thick short sec thick and short section. Sorry, I got really tongue tied there. Let that cool down. Spray this side. So really lightly mist it. I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that side cool before I um, curl it. And look at me, I did it wrong. Just curling the ends a bit more. So you know, just go back and touch up on any ends that you see are a bit too straight or something that you think could be curlier. It's up to your preference. This is just like an inspired look. Okay, I'll fix that later. So I'm going to do my bangs and you're going to do them away from your face. And you got to be very careful because since your bangs are short, you don't want to like burn your head. Oh, snap. Okay, so like that. And the other side I actually have to do in like two sections because my bangs are thick. I actually have to trim them soon. So you can do that again. And you're gonna wrap it, and while you're holding it, just kind of like twist the just twist the curling iron, and then pull down, and then like push it back to face the other curls. And we're curling away from your face. So this is what the curled part should look like, and I'm just going to hairspray it on the top, very, very lightly. And what 
you're going to do to make it really look like it is you're going to take, you know, like all your hair like that and just kind of flip it this way. So it's flipping away from your face. Not so much like raveling it all together, just making sure that all the curls are flipping in one direction. So like my bangs. Just like that. I'm actually going to tease my roots a little bit. Because I feel like I need more volume. I don't know, I don't remember what the picture looks like right now. But it's up to you if you want to add some more volume. So I'm just going to take a chunk. Hairspray it. Take my rat tail comb. And just start teasing it. Just like that. Combing the top just to smooth it out. I'm going to do it again on the other side. There we go. So it generally has more volume at the top and it kind of gets small at the bottom. Okay, here is your Miley Cyrus um, fly on the wall music video inspired hair. Um, hope you guys like it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, bye.